Hello YouTube, this is Joe from Crazy Beardy Bee Review and we have another beer to look at today. Today we're going to look at Bod, Bodai Zafa. Remember, I gotta go, which way do I gotta go? This way maybe, there we go. This is a India Pale Ale by Georgetown Brewing. It is 6.9% ABV. Let's see, do they have the IBUs on this anywhere? I do not see. This was canned on 11-26-21. And we are in January. And to be honest, I don't, I've been off for a few days, so I don't know what the date is. <laughs> um, but it's a lot colder than what I would drink a beer at because I just picked it up and I couldn't wait to review it. So um, I have had this beer before. I do like this beer. I've uh, just never reviewed it. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I'll leave the last little bits for. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We are looking at a, at least I'm seeing a bright orange. You are seeing more of a slightly burnt orange, at least the picture I look at in the camera right now. Uh, it's got, well, if you got small fingers like me, it's got half a finger of frothy head. Um, Decent lacing on the bottle, on the bottle. Decent lacing on the glass. Uh, let's give this a sniff and see what we get out of it. Oh yeah. I'm getting citrus. I'm getting some malts. Swirl this a little bit. I'm not good at swirling these. To get the this is a very pleasant smelling beer it smells exactly what you would expect they have no tasting notes on the can um, they're out of seattle washington for anybody that that isn't from this area um, cheers let's see what it tastes like It follows the nose pretty, pretty, pretty dead on. I'm getting orange. I'm getting a nice, nice bitterness, like a hop, the hop bitterness. Yeah, it's it's got a lot more bitter bitterness than you would expect. It's not uh, full on like West Coast bitterness, but it's definitely, you know, this is definitely more of a West Coast IPA than a hazy IPA, and they don't they just call it an Indian Pale Ale. India Pale Ale, not Indian. Try another sip. Uh, let's get the rest into there and see if we get any changing. Not really. It still pretty much looks the same. Uh, carbonation is good. Flavors are basically orange and... Uh, and you know, the hot bitterness. Like I said, I do not know the IBUs, but if I were to guess, this would be, hmm. Around 40 IBUs. And I might be off with that, but I think it's about 40 IBUs. It's uh, definitely, definitely, definitely a good beer. Um, this is a shelfie, uh, and it was $12.99 $12 for a six pack, which is all right. You know, you're, I don't live anywhere close where I can get singles of, of these kinds of beers. It, I'd have to go up into Seattle or Tacoma in order to get, get these, you know, at a single. Uh, 
So, you know, but it'll, it'll be a nice beer to sip on for a while and, you know, to break things up a bit. It's a good sipper. Even at, you know, 6.9%, I, I, still, I still would consider this a sipper. I could easily drink three or four of these. Um, no problem at all. Um, you know, it's like when it's really, let's see if I can get a better smell. For me, it's citrus all the way. You know, um, I have a very limited repertoire for smelling beers. Unless, I mean, there's probably people that could pick different things out of this beer than I'm getting. It's definitely way colder than it should be. Let's see if I can warm it up a tad and see if that helps a little bit. I should have pulled this. Well, I just got home from the store, so I figured it's been it's been out of the fridge for like oh twenty minutes, um, and it was st I bought it cold. It was stored cold there. Um, yeah, no no problems with it. It's like I said, it's uh, was canned on eleven. Did I say it was it eleven twenty six? Yeah, on eleven twenty six twenty one. You know, it's about um, about a month and a half old, and it's holding up really well. I mean, I'm, I've had this beer dead fresh, and I've had this beer two months old, and it pretty much tastes about the same. I mean, it's a little more, when it's dead fresh, it's a little more popping with the orange and, the, you know, stuff like that. It's probably a tad bit subdued because of the age, but it's not anything bad at all. It's got, I think it has the appropriate mouthfeel for its ABV. It's not, it's not thin, it's not light. I think it's perfect for drinking where it's at right now. It's perfect body feel for the ABV. Uh, like I said, maybe 40, possibly 40, maybe, yeah, I don't think it's below 40. I mean, I could be wrong if there's people out there that know me better than me on how many IBUs this is, put it down in the comments. Uh, any. Any, any information that you might know that I don't know. Um, basically, I can get this at my local supermarket, um, which half the time I'm regulated to doing either supermarkets or gas station unless I, I make the two and a half hour trek into the cities or go an hour south and go into Warrington, Oregon. Uh, but basically, a lot of my you know, beer consumption for craft beers is going to be basically out of grocery stores. I do have a couple local breweries um, by me. I've done a couple reviews of their stuff, and I'll, I plan on doing more so I can get dead fresh beer. Um, but, you know, this is so bad when you live out in the middle of nowhere, you know. It is what it is. Well, with that, I'm going to end with what I recommend this beer to somebody. If you're a hophead and you like hoppy and fr fruity flavors, you're gonna like this. If you like orange or citrus flavors in your beer, you're gonna like this. Um, I would definitely recommend it, and I am drinking it again. I've had it several times. Um, cheers. Hit like and subscribe if you want to. See you in the next beer review. Bye.